Hi guys, Mike back here today at Valenti Alpha Romeo in Hartford, Connecticut. Today I have another special, special review for you guys. And it is the all new 2020 Alpha Romeo Stelvio TI Q4 edition, guys. And before I get into the review, guys, I just want to let you guys know that on May 27th, I'm having another iPhone 11 Pro Max giveaway and a thousand dollar giveaway. So all you guys have to do to win is hit that like button and hit that subscribe button, guys. So the like button right there on the left and subscribe button is right there on the right. And again, it's totally free to subscribe. And in order to win, you guys have to hit the like button and the subscribe button, guys. And again, it's totally free to subscribe, guys. But now back to the review. So I'm gonna do a quick walk around of the outside and then I'm gonna get into detail about exactly what the Stelvio has to offer. And this color right here is absolutely amazing. Like this is a very special brand. I love this brand of vehicles. Like their SUVs and their cars are just absolutely amazing. They have such a big wide selection for their cars and their SUVs. Uh, they have small, small cars. They have uh, roadster cars. They have sports cars. They got SUVs. They got mid-sized SUVs. They got full-size SUVs. They got full-size cars. So they got a lot of different kind of vehicles, guys. But this color right here for this SUV is absolutely amazing. With the nice black rims and the Alfa Romeo calibers with the calibration and the script of the Alfa Romeo built onto it, which is really, really nice. And you got the nice 20 inch black rims with the Continental all season weather tires, which is really, really nice. So they did a great, great number on this, on this SUV guys. You got, just look at the this whole back. So you got the nice Stelvio badge right there. You got the Alfa Romeo badge right there and the nice Q4 badge right there. This color is absolutely stunning. You got the light Spencers or sensors, sorry guys, uh, right here on the back and you got them on the front as well. Now what they do is when you're going into reverse and you're about to hit something, or if you're going forward and you're about to hit something, it will alert you to let you know that you're about to hit something, guys. So that by itself is a really, really good feature, guys. You got the nice dual black glossed out exhaust tips, which are really, really nice. They did a great, great job on this SUV. They really, really did. Like this SUV is absolutely stunning. Now to get into your back tailgate, Hit this button twice and then your back door will pop open nice and smooth and you got a lot of space and a lot of room back here guys like a lot of space and a lot of room so it's it's really they did a great great job on this SUV guys you got some storage space down there I'm sorry about that guys that paper was just flying everywhere and I had to get it before it flew out the SUV so sorry about that rocky little video guys uh, right there you got some charging ports right there which is really cool and then you got this nice little divider which is pretty awesome so that way you can protect whatever you guys got back here which is pretty cool you guys actually have a lot of room back here a lot of space for whatever you want to put back here which is really nice and then right here, you got some more storage space down there and everything, and then your tire service kit, which is really, really cool. And then to close it up, also, so you have this splitter, right? And then you see this, this protects the other part right here. So when it comes down, it protects it on an angle, which is really, really cool. Then right here, you hit that button, and then your back tailgate will go down nice and smooth I I just love this SUV like this SUV like is absolutely gorgeous look at that nice little black with the red Q4 badge they did a great great number on this car guys our SUV you got the wood trim 
right here built into the doors which are really really nice you got some storage space right here you got the power locks power doors power windows you got nice little speakers right here and then you got a nice big speaker down here and then some more storage space down here which is really cool you got the all black leather interior which is really really nice in here and right here you got your nice little splitter so you can put cups or just split the kids back here so that way they're not sitting on top of each other well, i mean you could fit three people back here very nice and comfortably so it's really really nice you got some nice vents right there for your ac and your heat and then down there you got usb charge ports for your iphone your android and right here you got some storage space and then up there you got a nice big dual panoramic sunroof which is really really nice they did a great great number on this suv Like this SUV right here is absolutely stunning. You got the nice wood trim level right here. You got the power locks, power windows. You got your speakers, speakers down here. You got some more storage space down there. You got a little bit more storage space in there, which is really nice. They did an absolute perfect job with this SUV. The color, the interior, everything. And then right there, you got your little lights, buttons. So now i can show you a better view see what uh it covers that back piece with that sh that piece that i was showing you guys back there uh when the back tailgate was open and it goes over it so that way it literally has a whole way back there so it has a whole cover for the whole back which is pretty cool i like the way that they did that you got the black tinted windows with the nice dark a turquoise blue color which is really nice and you got the wood trim level you got the power locks the power windows you got the Harman Kardon speakers all throughout the SUV which is really really nice you got more storage space down here uh, you got 10 way power adjustable driver and passenger side seats and then you got the wood grain all throughout the dashboard which is really really nice just look at this setup guys like look at this SUV like I, I, this company does an absolute perfect job with all of their vehicles. Like, it's absolutely insane. You got your nice big size glove box right there. You got your nice big vents right here for your AC and your heat. They did an absolute amazing job with this SUV, guys. Just take another second, take a look at it. Like, look at that color with the black tinted windows, the black rims, like... This is probably one of the prettiest SUVs that I've ever seen. And you got your LED headlamps, LED tail lamps, you got the black front grille. I just love that front grille. Like, look at that. Like, I love their whole setup. You got the sport performance hood, and then you got this nice honeycomb front grille. Like, look how perfect that grille is. Like, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then you got the Alfa Romeo badge right there. I think that this is literally probably one of the nicest SUVs that I've ever seen. Literally, one of the nicest. And it does have an electric car starter, so hit this lock button, make sure it's locked, and then hit this button twice. And then it turns on nice and smooth. You hear that, right? It, you could barely hear it because it was that smooth sounding. Like, really, really nice. And then turn it off, hit the button twice, and then it turns off. Now, if you live in New England like I do, that is a great feature because, let's face it, nobody likes going outside in the freezing cold weather and starting up their car. Nobody. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you put on 12 hoodies, 18 sweatpants. Nobody likes going outside in the freezing cold weather to start up their car. Nobody does. I, I, it's just it's just a fact. Nobody does. All right. So I'm going to let you guys know what else it has to offer. It has a 2.0 liter with a 280 horsepower turbocharged I4 engine with an 8-speed automatic transmission. Now, let me show you that turbocharged engine with 280 horsepower. So you guys that like to go fast, 
this SUV right here is one of those SUVs that you get all of those things in one. Let me tell you guys, it's absolutely amazing what they can do with cars and SUVs and trucks and everything. In this case, an SUV. But it's got a turbo engine with 280 horsepower. So it goes fast, like really, really fast. Like I wish I could take it out on the road and show you guys how fast it goes, but they would never allow me to do that. But like, it's just, it, it's really fast, guys. I just want you guys to look at that front view again. Like, it's absolutely stunning. I love this SUV. Like, love it, love it, love it. If I wasn't such a big truck guy, trust me, I would, I would definitely get this SUV right here. Now, it is all-wheel drive. It has the 2.0 liter, so it's very, very good on gas, especially for a turbo engine. It's got a 2.0 liter, like a 2.0 liter. So it's not gonna take much to fill this gas tank at all. So it's really, really good on gas, especially for an all-wheel drive vehicle. And then it's got the supplemental front seat side airbags. It's got latch-ready child seat anchor system. It's got full-speed forward collision warning plus. It's got rear backup camera. It's got front and rear park assist sensors. It's got remote keyless entry, push button to start, stop and start system, power folding heated mirrors, rain sensitive windshield wipers, heated washer nozzles, power lift gate. It's got the tire service kit, universal garage door opener. It's got a carbon fiber drive shaft. It's got the alpha DNA drive mode system. It's got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM. It's got an 8.8 inch touchscreen. It's got eight speakers of the Harman Kardon, which is a really expensive speaker system. It's got aluminum roof rails right up there with a dual panoramic sunroof, which is really nice. It's got Satan, Satan aluminum window surround molding. It's got dark Myron V Scudetto grill. It's got the dark Miron exterior mirror caps. It's got dark Miron badging, dark exhaust tips. Mirror black rear valence panel. It's got driver attention alert, traffic sign recognition, active blind spot assist, lane keep assist, traffic jam assist, highway assist system. It's got navigation, sport leather wrapped steering wheel, perforated leather shift knob. It's got the 20 inch black aluminum rims with the all season, beautiful, beautiful continental tires. Like I already showed you guys with the black calipers with the Alfa Romeo script on them, which is really a really beautiful touch. And it's got the hands-free power lift gate with a 14 inch speaker, Harman Kardon premium audio system and active suspension, limited slip differential rear axle, aluminum steering column mounted paddle shifters. So this right here has so much going on. It's absolutely insane. You got the nice wood grain right here throughout this door as well. You got the Harman Kardon speakers, the Harman Kardon speakers right here. You got your different seating uh, modes right there for uh, your driver's side seat. You got power locks, power doors, power windows, power side mirrors. You got right here, your trunk button. So you can literally put up your power lift gate just with a little click of a button, which is really cool. You got some more storage space down there, which is really nice. You got your 10 weight power adjustable driver and passenger side seats. You got the Alfa Romeo badge built into the headrest, which is really, really nice. And now we're gonna get inside and show you what's going on. I think this is one of the coolest things about these Alfa Romeo SUVs. I love the way that they make it so sporty and so like, I don't, I don't know how to put it, but I love this setup. So you hit the brake pedal, right? Hold the brake pedal down, push the button, and then it starts up really nice and smooth. Like, I love this car, or sorry guys. I don't know why I always call it a car when I'm in an SUV, and when I'm in an SUV, I call it a car. I'm, I'm bugged out. I'm really sorry about that, guys, but yeah. So right here are your high beam and headlamp controls. Uh, right here are your parking sensors. You can turn them on or off. Um, now, if I didn't explain that to you guys, what they do 
uh, the speed sensors, uh, the parking sensors, if you're going in reverse or you're going forward, it's gonna alert you to let you know that you're about to hit something. So that way it will save you from getting into an accident. So that is a really, really cool feature. Uh, right here is your stop and go feature. For those of you guys that don't know what the stop and go feature is, the stop and go feature is, so when you come to a complete stop at a stop sign, at a stoplight, uh, just come to a complete stop in general, your engine's gonna turn off and everything else is gonna stay on. Your lights, your headlamps, everything, everything's gonna stay on except your engine. Uh, now what it does is really good for fuel economy, it's good for uh, the atmosphere, it's good for overall around uh, a lot of great things. It saves money on gas, it's good uh, for the car, it's just good all the way around. And uh, yeah, so I mean, you do have the option to turn it on or off. Some people don't like it, but you do have that option to turn it on or off, which is pretty, pretty cool. And then right here, uh, you got your hill descent control. Uh, you got your blind spot control right here. You got your steering wheel heated steering wheel control right here, which is really nice. You got your Alpha Romeo badge right here built in uh, to the steering column. Uh, you got your manual power shifting knobs right here, which is pretty cool. Paddles, I mean, not knobs, uh, which is really nice to manually shift, which is pretty cool. Uh, right here are your hands-free Bluetooth headset. So you can uh, put in uh, your iPhone or your Android into the system, and then you can just call and talk hands-free, which is pretty cool. Uh, right here, your volume controls for your steering wheel column for your volume for your radio and everything so that way you don't have to like constantly go over there and press the buttons and turn it down blah blah right here you got that option built into the steering wheel which is pretty cool and then your radio shifting uh knobs right here as well too to turn uh, the radio station and all that great stuff i love this setup right here they have such a nice beautiful dashboard setup you got that nice uh touchscreen built right into it's like so so sick i i love this interior um let's see uh you got your electric miles per hour reader right there um you got your different settings that you can go through uh all on your steering wheel column for all of your information right there like your tire pressure oil pressure uh all your fluids and all that great stuff and then right here you can control all of your different settings right there. So see, it lights up. So if you wanna go into your navigation, you just press this button down and then it goes right into your navigation, which is pretty, pretty cool. And then right here is your little home button, press that down. And then you go into your home screen, which is pretty cool. And then you can also do the touch. You got driver assistance safety, you got your climate controls, you got your performance page. You got your vehicle information, connected services. You can go into your settings right there, your, your lights, units, language, clock, date, passive safety, all that great stuff. You got your home button right there. Uh, and you can go into your other settings as well. You can download apps, put apps in here. It's got a lot of different features, which is really, really crazy and really cool at the same time. Uh, I just love this whole setup with the dashboard. Like it, it looks like a spaceship and I, I just love it. It's, it's pretty sick. Um, so right here you got dual climate control. So what that is, is another pretty crazy thing. So if you want to be hot on the driver's side and your passenger wants to be cold or vice versa, you want to be cold, they want to be hot. All you would have to do, right, is put the temperature right here. So if you want to be hot, put it as hot as you want and you'll be hot over here. The vents will blow out the hot air and then say they want to be cold turn it as cold as you want right there put it on the ac and then these ports right here will control how cold it is over here so literally you can have the heat blasting on this side and have the ac blasting on that side how awesome is that and you got a nice little outlet right there which is pretty cool charge whatever you're trying to charge iphone android another outlet right there for usb port and then you got the nice wood grain built into this whole center console. I love this center console setup. Like it's so sick. All right, so you got this little button right here, right? So you got to hold this button down when you want to go into the different shifts. So now we're in drive. So now we're in reverse. And you got the backup camera. And now that's a perfect example. So that's your parking sensors acting up because there's a car right behind me. So 
that's a perfect example of the parking sensor. So it's pretty cool. It makes that loud noise and it also lets you know how close you're getting at the same time. So that is really, really cool. And then to go in the park, you just hit this button right there. Just as easy as that. So really cool. And now to go right here, you got your nice cup holders, which is really cool. I love this setup. This setup is so sick. Like it's pretty awesome. And then you just push it forward and then it comes back nice and gently. How awesome is that? Now you got your electric park brake right here. So you just flip it up like that. And then your brake light will turn on right there. So that's pretty cool. That's your e-brake. So pretty nice, right? And then you just flip it down and then your e-brake will go off and then your light will go off. So pretty cool. And this is your different modes for your different drives. So right there, you just flip it over like a radio knob or a volume knob and then it will go into your different modes. Watch. See, right there, you got the D mode, you got N mode, and you got A mode. So those are all your different modes, which is really, really cool. Uh, and then right here, like I mentioned before, controls so you don't have to touch right here. I mean, you can touch it or you can control it right here. So just turn it over like a radio knob and then press the button down and then you can go right into your settings which is pretty cool and say you want to go in your lights press the button down again press the button down again you go into your headlight sensitivity and then say you want to go into three turn the knob over and then bam you're good to go so that is pretty cool as well and you want to go into your settings you got a settings button right here and then it will pop open all your settings which is pretty cool and then your home button it will bring you right back to your home screen again really really nice and then you're going into your center console now. Look at that center console. Isn't that pretty nice? You got your nice USB ports right there for your, to charge your iPhone, your Android, whatever you're trying to charge. And then right here is your wireless charging pad. So your if your phone has the wireless capabilities, you just put your phone right in there or right down there, whatever you want to do, and then it will charge your phone up while you're driving wireless, wirelessly free. So... That by itself is really, really awesome. Now, right here is your universal garage door opener. So it's already built into your SUV. So you don't have to worry about your battery dying. You don't have to worry about losing it, your kids playing with it, anything like that. Cause it's already built in. And no matter how many houses you ever move into, you can program it into every single house that you want. So again, that's pretty awesome. And then right here is your controls for your sunroof. Now watch the screen pop open which is really nice and smooth really nice and gentle and then right here is your button for your sunroof awesome right pretty cool press that button go back down brings your sunroof back in and then right here press that button and then it brings your sunscreen back in really really nice guys and then you got your SOS button right here so what that does is if you get into an accident or anything like that, it's going to send your emergency location to or your location to emergency services. Sorry about that. Uh, so firefighters, ambulance, police officers. So no matter what, if you get into an accident and you can't move, you can't talk, you can't do none, they're going to send your exact location because it's got GPS locator inside the SUV. So no matter where you are in the world, that will send your location exactly to the nearest police, firefighters, and ambulance. So you will be rescued within seconds, within minutes. So uh, again, a really great feature that Alfa Romeo has been doing for quite some time now. And then right here is your mirror dimmer. I don't know if you guys can see it that well. So if you got somebody that's a jerk off that's uh, in your rear view with their high beams on, you can just turn this button on and then your auto dimming will turn on so that way it will dim out those high beam lights that are right behind you so that right there is another really cool cool feature and yeah guys again thank you so much for staying tuned thank you guys so much for watching my videos i i hope they're getting better um i, I i'm still pretty new to the youtube life guys so i, I really hope you guys are uh, going to hang in with me a little bit longer. Again, guys, thank you so much. I'm very thankful and grateful for all my viewers, all my subscribers. 
Thank you so much, guys. And again, uh, May 27th, I'm having another iPhone 11 Pro Max giveaway and a $1,000 giveaway. Uh, all you guys got to do to win is hit that like button and hit that subscribe button, guys. It's totally free to subscribe. So all you guys got to do are those two things, and you guys will be entered in to win a brand new iPhone 11 Pro Max or $1,000. So... That's up to you guys, whether you guys want to subscribe or not. But, uh, I mean, I think anybody, especially during this coronavirus time right now, can definitely use that money. It's free money, guys. So, I mean, can't go wrong. And it's a free phone, so you definitely can't go wrong. But, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for staying tuned. And, uh, again, I will see you guys soon. And uh, I hope you guys are really liking my videos. And stay safe out there, guys. I'll see you soon.